Welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator 2. In the last episode, well, we used the decorator app to redo this whole shop. Yeah, everything. Well, except for out here. Can't do anything out here with the decorator app. But we redid this whole shop. And we upgraded and painted some more PCs. I think there was even uh, another tutorial in there. So if you missed that episode and you want to go back and check it out, I will put a link up in the upper right-hand corner so you can do so. As usual, we left off with some email for things we needed to do. So let's take a look. Let's see here, we've got this upgrade. It says, do you work with computers? I'm thinking I need to upgrade my PC. Can you put 16 gigs of RAM in, please? I need it before 11.322. I think spade stickers would look cool on a PC. Can you do that? I know used parts can be cheaper, but I would like new ones, please. Okay. So, want 16 gigs of RAM. Good lord, look at this parts budget. $1,200 for 16 gigs of RAM? What kind of RAM do they have in there? They've got 8 gigs right now on a board that should be able to take two more sticks of this to get them up to 16 gigs. They definitely don't need a parts budget of $1,200. What is that all about? That's very interesting. I'm pretty sure this DFL A320M will take four sticks of RAM. Uh, we can check it right here. Yeah. Look at that picture. Four sticks of RAM will fit right in there. Fit right in there. So let's just get two more sticks of this for them. It's definitely not going to be $1,600 worth of RAM. Holy cow. And then what's a spade sticker? <laughs> I guess we'll figure that out when it comes in. All right. So let's go back here to the shop. Didn't we accept that? Oh, let's accept this. Then let's go to the shop. Why isn't this giving me the option to add it to a build? Here we go. Maybe. Okay, there we go. All right. Well, let's go back to the email. Man, that add it to a build thing's a little, it's a little glitchy sometimes. So this one says, hi, just wanted to say thank you for the upgrade. It plays great. Um, I know I said the PC was really awesome because my sister built it for me but she didn't have the time to do everything I wanted because I asked for a leopard skin pattern on the case and she didn't do it because it's hard to do, I guess. That's one heck of a run-on sentence. <laughs> so I thought I'd better ask the experts. That's you. Can you do that for me? Thanks, I can't wait to see it. Aiden, age 39, <laughs> Operations Director, Royal Society for Animal Protection and Care. Oh my gosh. So they want a leopard theme. All of that. All of that just to say they want a leopard theme. Okay, let's accept that. So we go back here to the shop. Next day delivery on these two sticks of RAM. Let's buy that now and close the shop out. We don't need it right this minute. That's on its way. That's on its way. Let's go in the day so we can get everything in and we can get to work. And I forgot to turn off the light again. Forgot to turn off the blasted light again. I'm never going to remember. I don't know why I even tried. Can I turn it off now? Does that count? <laughs> Oh man, okay. So there's the RAM. Here's the upgrade. We've got to figure out what the heck a spade sticker is. But, oh look, they don't even have their RAM in right. They're only getting single channel on that junk. Okay. All right, let's get this RAM installed. There you go, 16 gigs. All right, now we need to power this on. Make sure it works. I am gonna hop into the BIOS just in case, you know, it needs to have XMP turned on, which it's going to, there we go. And, uh, what are they booting from? Hopefully, please tell me they're not, tell me they're booting from the SSD. Let's find out. Please don't tell me no operating system installed. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, so that part's done. Uh, case modding. They want stickers. Like this kind of, like, uh, like this? Like a spade? Like this thing? They don't have a color. They don't have a color. Do they want it on the glass? That's the real question. Everything in this case is kind of gold and black. 
We did a gray. A gray spade. Let's put it on the glass. And then, oh, I meant control. Make it big. It didn't say how many. It didn't say how many they wanted. Well, let's do two. Let's do two stickers. Hopefully they'll like that. <laughs> okay, let's put that out here. And then this one wants leopard. I want a leopard print. Or, oops, a leopard theme. Okay, so that's this thing. Let's find leopard. There it is. Oh my. I don't think they said if they wanted it on the glass or not, so I don't think I'm going to put it on the glass. That's... That's leopard. That's leopard, all right. <laughs> uh, it's it's not my cup of tea, but you know, hey, if you like it, you like it. All right, let's collect some money. Let's collect some money. Here's the upgrade. We got the whole parts budget? Holy cow. Okay, so they wasted uh, $1,200 for not $1,200 worth of RAM. Whatever. We got five stars. The new RAM has really helped my PC, and the spade stickers were a nice touch. Excellent. And then we've got the leopard theme. Five stars. And we've leveled up. 130 bucks. Okay. So let's take a look at this. 3400 megahertz RAM. The 2080 Ti and all this. All this stuff. Uh, milestone 10 gets TR4. Rigid water cooling pipes. Nice. Here's that, that stuff that I'm probably not going to deal with. Okay, this email says, hey, I've got the money. Can you make the upgrade? I need 8 gigs of RAM. It seems to be running quite warm. I can afford anything up to $440. I need it before 11-10-2022. I could do with Fall Guys on this PC. Can you handle that, please? Could you maybe paint the case red? Oh my, so they want an upgrade? Clean out the dust? It's been less than $440. I'm pretty sure we can do that. 8 gigs of RAM does not cost that much. And they want their case painted red. Let's take a look at their stats real quick. Let's see, what do they have for RAM now? Four gigs of Patriot Viper LED. Okay, well, we'll just get another stick of that. Let's go to the email here. Let's accept it. Because really, all we need is to order another stick of this RAM. There we go. Okay. And that's not going to cost us $440. 60 bucks. <laughs> 60 Bugs. All right, let's go back to the email here. So this is in transit. Uh, Fall Guys doesn't cost us anything. Red paint doesn't cost us anything. And dusting it doesn't cost us anything. All right, let's take a look at this one. It says, hey there, Joe here again from Cupcake Conjurers. Thanks for the heat fix. Whatever you did worked a treat. But it's starting to happen again. This time I'm getting weird graphical glitches all over the screen. One positive outcome is that it's giving me some ideas about cupcake patterns that I can create, but I really need it to stop doing this. Whatever you did last time, can you do that again? I need this fixing urgently. Have a big order to deliver. Appreciate it. Bake on, burn none, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> so we need to diagnose and fix. I don't remember what we did last time. I guess we'll figure out what Joe needs when it comes in. Graphical glitches, I would think, would be... Possibly is one of his 980 TIs is crapping on him. Or it's just filthy dusty. I Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out when it comes in. Let's go ahead and accept that one. Let's go to the shop. Let's check out with this stick of RAM. Okay. Fan control application unlocked. This app allows you to change the fan settings on a PC. You can install the software using the USB drive found in the tools section of the inventory. So I'm guessing maybe that's what we need to do to Joe's PC. It's possible. Okay, turn out the lights. End of the day. I remember that time. I doubt it's going to help because I don't do it often enough. <laughs> let's turn them back on. Okay, let's get our one stick of RAM from these three boxes. And we'll grab the upgrade first. So let me switch this bench back to build mode. This thing is dirty. 
Not the worst I've ever seen, but definitely dirty. Okay, first, tools, compressed air, clean out the dust. I love all the little dust particles that go flying everywhere. All right, we're clean. Now we need to upgrade to eight gigs of RAM. Uh, I'm gonna leave his stick where it is. Normally I would move it over a notch, but if it's working for him, then we're just gonna leave well enough alone. Let's grab this RAM, get that installed. And then they wanted what? They wanted Fall Guys on here and to have it painted red. Let's see. We're here. This one. Uh, clean out dust, 8 gigs of RAM, Fall Guys, paint case red. Cool. Let's do it. Let's power this on. Hop into the BIOS. See if we need XMP or not. We do. Is that the right drive? That's the only drive. And while that's restarting or starting up or whatever you want me to say... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get this USB drive in. And we can go ahead and get Fall Guys on here. Let's get that added. There we go. Done deal. Okay. Now, need to get the side panel back on because we need to paint this red. There we go. Power it down, back out, let's pick it up, switch over to case modding, and red. You think they want it on the glass? I doubt they want it on the glass. I really doubt they want it on the glass. Okay, let's paint. There it is. Red case. All right, I think this is done. Let's go put this out here. And we can diagnose this thing that's got all the... Oh, I remember this PC, the one with all the uh, banana stickers. <laughs> all the banana stickers all over the top. Let's go back to build mode. So, let's power it on. Curious, let's hop into the BIOS. Anything change here? XMP's off. Okay. Uh, so we may... We may need to use that fan app. I mean, it doesn't look dusty. Is that fan acting normal? Are any of these fans acting normal? Let me take this side panel off of here. That doesn't look right. That doesn't look right. Let me get this fan out. The front one looked like it was doing something stupid too. Okay. Case fans. Just says owned by. So, it must be nothing wrong with it. Let's try the fan app. Let's cable this. Yeah, it's just, it's being stupid. <laughs> okay. Let me get the USB drive installed here. And then it said it was the fan app. What was it called? Fan control. Oh, fast system. Fan control. So, GPU fans. Those are an issue. These are at 1171. These are at 526. But they're going to be warmer because there's another graphics card underneath them. Does that mean that the graphics card's messed up? 
since the fans aren't spinning correctly. So let's check this graphics card. I don't know why he needs two 980 Ti's. Let's see here. Graphics card. Faulty. He's got a faulty 980 Ti gaming. Six gig golden edition. <laughs> okay. So, let's go order one. Guess we don't have to go anywhere. We can order it right here. Let's go here. We can scroll down. And we can just add this to the cart. There we go. Confirm. We'll go ahead and check out. Let's do same day delivery. I don't feel like ending the day. There it is. Let's get this new one put in here. So, the faulty one. I'm not going to keep faulty things. Uh, let's go ahead and sell it off. And the new one... We will get installed in this case. Let's go ahead and cable it up. There we go. Okay, time to boot. I think we're good now. I don't need to do anything else with this fan control. Those are spinning. These are doing something weird. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's using the CPU sensor. Maybe we put it on performance. Maybe we put all these on performance since he has it out in a in a hot place. We'll do everything performance. Okay, if that doesn't keep it cool... I don't know what will. <laughs> Let me get the side panel put back on. And hopefully, hopefully we'll get five stars from this. Hopefully they like what we did here. Let's go put this out in the hall. We can collect some money. Let's see. Let's get the tablet up. Uh, we don't need PC stats open anymore. Let's go back to the email. So let's go ahead and do this one. Five stars. I'll take it. I'll take it. $644 in profit. Nice. And then this one where we had to clean it out and put all guys on it. There we go. Five stars. The new system memory is nice. Also, they installed fall guys on my PC, which is a plus. Well, you asked for it. You asked for it. Okay, here's some new stuff. Some more new stuff. All right, this one says, hi, my PC is super sluggish. I need more space. 4,960 gigabytes should be enough for what I'm looking for. If you can, I'd love some plastic pink cables in there. I think bumper stickers would look cool on a PC. Can you do that? Regards, Charles. 4,960 gigs of storage. Does that mean that they already have like a 960 gig drive? No, they've got a 480. So they've got 1,480 gigs <laughs> What? Oh, man. Uh, that's a really weird request. 4,960 gigs of storage. So what if I go over that? Like, what if I just get the biggest danged hard drive I can? Or do we have four terabytes in, in here? Let's see. Storage. Two terabyte, three terabyte. Yeah, here's a four terabyte for 130 bucks. What is their budget? $700? Okay. Okay, so... Will their case... Here's their case. Oh yeah, that'll hold. That'll hold another drive. <laughs> Let's go ahead and accept this one. What a weird... What a weird request. Um... Okay. And then... Take a look at this one. It says, hey, Dan here. I'm a decorator. My mates just call me Decky Dan. Makes sense. But I don't like it. Sometimes they say it wrong. Oh, gosh. But I'm not splashing the color. I like playing tanks for the memories. It really relieves the stress, if you know what I mean. Just don't mention it to my Decky pals. They just don't get it. 
I wouldn't hear the end of it. It'd be like Dan the Tank Man or Tanky Dan or some other stupid nickname. Anyway, they just updated the game and my computer is not up to the challenge. Can you check out my PC and upgrade it so I can run tanks for the memories? The computer is useless at the moment. It's all I do on it. Thanks, Dan the Man. So he wants to be able to play tanks for the memories. We don't have... Like, will it run on here? So we're going to have to go to the PC over here to see what that takes to run tanks for the memories. Let's see. Recommended spec. There we go. 4 gigs of RAM, 4 gigs of VRAM, 30 gigs of storage, a 6700, and a 970. So let's see what these stats are. An 1800X, 8 gigs of RAM, and a 1050. But I don't think a 1050 matches a 970. An 1800X, I'm not sure. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Where is... Where's all my software? Part ranking. So, 1800X... And what was the will it run? 6,700. Let's find a 6,700. Is it below this? It's got to be. Because there's a 7,700. Yes, here's a 6,700K. So the processor is more than up to the challenge. And then they have a 1050. And they need at least a 970 or equal. So 1050. So we'll just go with this one. So a 970 is definitely more powerful, and that's a 1050 Ti. So 1050 is down here. So we're like at the almost at the bottom. 750 Ti is the worst. So we need at least a 970. Okay, so let's go back to the email. Let's go ahead and accept this job because he has everything else. He just needs a 970. The thing is, is this says 4 gigs of VRAM and a 970 technically had 3.5 gigs. So, yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's open up the shop. Graphics cards. 970. So this one here is actually the best one. The 970 Gamer XL, it's got the higher core frequency. And they all have about the same memory frequency. And what was his budget? What's his budget? 350 and this is 280 so we're good on that. Let's put it to there, and then we got one more email here. Are you free to discuss a claim? Hello, I'm currently conducting an investigation into the fire that destroyed the premises your business previously occupied. I have been liaising with the prior leaseholder, but have found numerous inconsistencies in his responses. Would you be available for a call at some point to discuss? Kind regards. Dee Dee Burnham, claim investigator, Gray Fars of London, trusted since 1667. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay, so we've got stuff in the shopping cart. Let's close out some of this extra junk we've got opened up here. PC stats, we don't need those anymore. Let's go to the shop. Let's go to the checkout. Do next day delivery. Buy it all now. We can go into our day, turn off the lights, <laughs> then into the day, and we can get all this stuff in, and we can get to work. And hopefully, hopefully make things what people want. Okay, lights on. Here's our stuff. Let's take a look here. Upgrade. This is the upgrade, the storage one. So let's do that first. Uh, do we even need this side of the case open? Don't know. Don't know. Man, th these here make it really hard to do stuff on this side of the case. Because I can't, like, I can't go up or down. Okay, storage. Four terabytes. Oh my lord. <laughs> Let me cable this up. 
All right. All right. Side panel on. Jeez. Was there anything else we needed to do for this one? Some plastic pink cables and bumper stickers. Crud. I did not buy any plastic pink cables, and I doubt I have any. So we may have to go buy some plastic pink cables real quick. Let's take a look, though. We'll look and see. Nope, nothing pink, just white, green, and some orange. Well, dang. Okay, let's get all the cables disconnected. We have to take this side back off. Forgot about the cables. Oh my. What? This is very frustrating to have to work at strange angles just to be able to do stuff. Because as soon as you scoot in too far, it bumps you up. Okay, I think that's all the cables. Let's, uh. Cables, 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 cables. <laughs> Plastic, plas they're all plastic. These look the nicest to me. Those are the ones I'm going to buy. Same day delivery. It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, now we can do the plastic paint cables. There we go. These people with their RAM... Should I fix it? Probably. It's going to drive me nuts if I don't. Let's zoom in. Okay. Memory. Here's their RAM. Let's get this installed right. Let's make sure this blasted thing powers on. Hop into the BIOS. RAM OC. Doesn't need to be turned on. Uh, Lord, what are they booting from? Please tell me I picked the right thing. Uh, okay, there we go. There we go. Let's get the side panel back on. And then they wanted bumper stickers. Is that right? They wanted bumper stickers on here. Yeah, bumper stickers. So, let's change the bench. Case modding. Stickers. We got shapes, warning signs, symbols, emoji, bumpers. Let's apply these to the glass. Didn't say how many they wanted. Air cooled. Boom. El Presidente. Bugged. Loading. Game over. There we go. Stick with it. 25 XP. All right. I'm going to call this done. Let's go put this out in the hall. Or the back room. What, whatever this is. And we'll grab this one. Oh. Wrong bench. I gotta switch back to build mode. Okay, so this one needs to be able to play Tanks for the Memories. Man, these people with their RAM, I'm telling you. So, other than upgrading the graphics card, was there anything else? This is the new one. they want any colored cables? No. Oh, don't want pink. Go back to black. And then let's fix this RAM. Oh, uh, 
let's get rid of this faulty one. Don't need that in my inventory. There we go. And we also need to put in a PCI cover because this graphics card's smaller. Is that it? Is that all we needed to do? Let's hop into their BIOS real quick. RAM OC. There we go. That's the only drive they've got. Let's let this thing boot. I'm going to zoom back out. Maybe. And let me get this side panel put back on. Oh. Dang it. Thought I had to screw it in. It just clicks. Okay. Okay. So that is done. Very, very nice. Let's collect some money. Let's collect some money. Let's do this one. Five stars, $290 profit. I'll take it. And this one. Five stars. They gave me lots of storage and I couldn't be happier. $740 profit. Heck yeah. Okay, some new parts. New parts. Deals. And then we're going to save these other emails for the next episode. But did we get any other power-ups? We've got a little money. Um, let's see. Auto standoff, auto screw. We've already got the quick cable. I don't care for the auto cable. Let's do this. I don't know if this does anything, but let's do the faster installation upgrade. So we got that. Maybe every episode we'll buy a power up until we got them all or until we unlock more. Who knows? Who knows how that's going to happen? Let's close all this out. If you enjoyed this episode, you guys know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down button. Also, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to help support me and the channel, there's a link to my Patreon down in the description or you can become a channel member. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there, guys, and I will see you in the next episode.